Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we are flying again of FS Labs A320. Um, service from, um, uh, currently I have a brain fart. <laughs> service from Copenhagen over to Zurich. We already set up the plane, as you can see, with FS2 crew again. Um, I don't think I'll ever fly without it, even in videos. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we're about two minutes before we start our APO, so in that time I'm going to get a project fly going and ready to, um, track our flight. From there on, we pretty much did everything already, so we're pretty much ready to go. So let me just quickly do that. New aircraft, A320. Uh, Scandinavian. Registration is Sierra Echo, Romeo Juliet Echo. Home base is Echo Kilo Charlie Hotel. And, our, and then, uh, we just gotta look through our pictures. Prepared, and I believe it's this one. And that is complete. So we're gonna choose that book. I know you don't know what's going on, but things are pretty much going on. So, files and echo kilo. There it is. And fly now. Alright. So, About six minutes in, and we're just ready to start the APU. Master switch coming on. Right, and we can start the APU. In the meantime, we have received our load sheet, so we're going to go ahead and take this. Zero fuel weight is 56.3 and uh, 30.7 and fuel is 6,900 56.3 56 there we go then go to performance or actually yes we can go to um, Atsu AOC performance request departures Echo Kilo Charlie Hotel intersections no wet no packs off yes runway is two two right Q and H is one zero zero eight with a temperature of two two winds that's a good question winds here are one eighty at six and then we'll go back, load sheet, 63.1, Toga no, config 1 plus F is correct, and 29.4. We'll send over that information, go to performance, receive messages, and we'll just wait for until that comes up. Until then, AP should be started, AP bleed coming on, actual power coming off. Ground for cockpit. Go ahead. Please remove external power. Roger, removing external power. And there it already is. That was nice and quick. Oh, he's got to do that first. That's cool. The external power removed. Oh, I thought we got a performance message. I guess I was uh, wrong on that. Yeah, it looked highlighted. That's fine. That's literally the only thing we're waiting on, and then we pretty much can go. But we've got four minutes to wait on it, which is just perfectly fine. Hey guys, all packs are on board. Are we clear to close? Yes. Thanks. See you up there. Okay. So now we're closing our door. Let's see what they close. Ah, disconnecting the chocks. That's fine. We're going to go back to Atsu AOC received performance. Pop the sucker up. 
and here we go. So the trim is down at 0 0.1. Got that. 69 is our flex. Nice. 145. 147. And 148. We're gonna go and enter that information into this inf into the uh, departure briefing as well. Flex timbers six nine one uh, four five one four seven and one four eight completed. All right, so that's done. We can go to flight plan here, and uh, we are ready to go before start checklist. Before start checklist. Cockpit prep completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers removed. Signs. On auto. Adheres. Nav. Fuel quantity. 6,900 kilograms. Takeoff data. Set. Barrel ref. 1009 zero, zero, set. 1009 zero, zero, set. Down to the line. Alright, we are ready to go. So, this time, make sure we can go get our uh, pushback clearance, but we're not online or anything. We're not doing ADC. ADC. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, check some things. Nose steering is still engaged. However, uh, according to GSX, it should disengage. They'll put in the nose pin. Windows doors closed and locked, so you just check red light or red, red indication, red indication. Um, doors are all closed. Cam crew arm slides and cross check. All right, so our doors should arm. And once they do, we can turn on the beacon light, meaning we are ready to go. We can also check our brake pressure here, and our brake is set. Voila! Make sure the thrust levers are at the idle position, which they now are, or have been, but are just to be sure. Chocks are removed, and we can now request pushback with GSX. So prefer, prepare the prepare for pushback and straight pushback. That is not very nice. Um, where would it lead us? Oh yes, no, that's not good. Isn't there a new feature for GSX version 2? Alright, we're just going to do this and we're going to wait for engine start as soon as we're done pushing back because we have to verify that we don't go on the grass or that would be pretty bad. So, below the line. Windows and doors. Closed. Closed. Beacon. On. Thrust levers. Idle. Parking brake. Set. Before start Hello checklist again. complete. We are ready for pushback. Okay, so. Locking gear. Your nearest exit may be behind you. In an emergency, leave all cabin baggage on board. Uh, we still gotta release the parking brake, so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go outside. Departure check completed. Bypass bin and cementing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, Lord. Okay. Set parking brakes. We're fine. We're fine. I don't like that uh, it does that. I don't know why it does that. That's kind of not so very good. Brakes are set. Oh, no. Alright, so starting engine number two. Starting engine two. Uh, 
Unlocking gear. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass been removed. Weird. Left is clear. Right is clear. All right, and I would say that is a successful, successful engine start, starting engine one. So I'm looking for two four two two four six four, which is checked. So engine number two is stable. The reason I turned off the packs is because the uh, bleed just the pressure just wasn't increasing. Um, usually this uh, it does increase once you start the engines. Actually, you don't actually normally have to turn off the packs. Um, they'll allow, they will they will automatically shut down once you start actually an engine. However, in this case, I just turn off the sh uh, if, uh, the uh, packs just to get that done. So engines successfully started two four six four. And that is checked. APU bleed coming off. APU master coming off. I'm gonna go ahead and stow this. Pressure is checked. I'm gonna set Archer, even though he tried to. I don't always trust it. Zero point. It only you can only do, normally trust the A320 version of it. The A319 is totally different. So if it's the crew somehow does not do that right, I don't know why. Um, but with that, we are pretty much complete. So, you can set is also checked. After start checklist. Anti-ice. Off. Ecam status. Checked. Pitch trim. Set and checked. Rudder trim. Zero. After start checklist complete. Alright, so. Clear left. Clear on the left. Clear left side. Clear right side. Uh, that's a bit bright, so they probably don't like that. However... Um, that'll be fine. I was checking to see if I'm going the right direction. 2-2 two, two right is in that. It's over there. So yes, we've got to turn to the right here. And Norman is ready. Hello, it's Norman. Hi, Norman. Cabin secure for takeoff. Perfect, thank you very much. Thank you. Alright. Brake check. Pressure zero. So there are a couple of nice things that uh, they have changed. Three things that I've noticed. Well, well, third thing I can't notice yet because we're not about to take off. However, the first two things is during startup, if you do have the option set where you control the APU during preliminary type of preparation, which is normal. Uh, normally the AP does not get started and he something happened with the bottom of the speed brake. But you normally do not um what the heck? 
Oh. Sorry. I normally do not um where was that? Oh yeah. You normally don't sort the APU as early as that, uh, only if it's really necessary, but because of noise abatement and fuel saving cons is this place closed? Okay, I did not know that. I did not know they actually put cones here to model it as closed. That's fine. We'll just go through it. Um, thank you, Scenery, for making this very unrealistic. Anyways, um, well, in a way, making it unrealistic. Anyways, uh, yeah, so the first thing is that they changed. Well, they tried to change it in the first beta. Now they, the second beta is out, and they fix it finally, where uh, if you have that option on, he will do the APU fire test um, after all the systems have been booted up. So he's actually going to wait about 80 seconds, and he's going to do the APU fire test because... If he did it any earlier, uh, you would not even hear anything. You wouldn't even know about it, unless, I mean, except for him saying, I'm doing the AP fire test. But you wouldn't hear it, so it wouldn't be a real test. Um, which is why uh, they changed it, or he changed it to 80 seconds now, so he'll, the systems are booted up by then, and uh, you can uh, for sure hear everything, which is perfect. Then, um, next thing that he changed was the brake uh, check just in a sec uh, used to be instantly where he said pressure zero and now he waits about two seconds which means he might not check the data risk just yet about that um, he might not even know if the pressure is actually zero um, because they didn't, uh, FSLAS hasn't released an SDK yet so uh, it's just a guess, guess and check kind of thing which is no problem honestly um, it's no big deal um, but it will make it more realistic as soon as that SDK does get released and FS2 crew does get updated to work with the SDK because then he can actually check whether it really something is in that position if something really is going on there and the departure briefing would be so much easier to program you wouldn't have to put in the V speeds and all that and then the third thing the most important thing is um, back then he didn't actually turn off the packs the, the co-pilot the pilot monitoring he didn't actually turn off the packs before takeoff even though he was supposed to and so apparently they changed that now or fixed it not changed it but fixed it so yeah, we'll see if that actually fixes it, because I haven't done a flight ever since the beta. I just tested uh, the preliminary cockpit preparation. It's the only thing I got to um, in the first beta, um, which is why I reported it right away. But now that I'm flying it, I can actually test it and see how well they've fixed it, which I'm sure they have. No problems. So we're about to cross the runway, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the strobes on. Flight control check. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Here's our taxiway into uh, the runway. We're on to the runway. Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Checked. Briefing. Confirmed. Flap setting. Config 1 plus F. Config 1 plus F. V1, VR, V2, flex temp. V1, 145, VR, 147, V2, 148, flex temp, 7, flex temp, 69 degrees. V1, 145, VR, 147, V2, 148, flex temp, 69 degrees. ATC. Advise. Set. ECAM memo. Take off no blue. Down to the line.
Approach path clear of traffic. Good check. Kevin Crew, be seated for takeoff. There we go. Packs are off. Below the line. Takeoff runway. Confirmed. Confirmed. Kevin Crew. Advised. TCAS. T-A-R-A. -A. Engine mode selector. Normal. Packs. Off. Before takeoff checklist complete. Ready? Affirm. Takeoff. Manflex SRS auto thrust blue. Thrust set checked. One hundred knots checked. Rotate. Positive climb. Gear up. Gear up. Nav green. Uh, nav. Checked. Packs are on. This include this includes e-cigarettes. In just a few moments, we'll commence our. Hit. Flaps zero. Speed checked. Flap zero. Auto pedal one on. After takeoff climb checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Retracted. Packs. On. Down to the line. Set standard. Standard. Cross-checked. Passing flight level 060. Now. Checked. Below the line. Arrow ref. Standard set. Standard. Set. After takeoff, climb checklist complete.
confirm seatbelts off. Confirm. Confirm. Clear red nav. Negative. Confirm copy. Active to secondary. Negative. Cruise flight level is as shown. Optimum flight level is as shown. Recommended max flight level is as shown. Are you happy with our current selected flight level? Yes. Okay. Alright guys, with that I'm just going to let you enjoy the view, the scenery, and uh, any other effects that you guys enjoy in this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, anything that you guys watch, honestly, leaving feedback also helps. Um, whether it be a comment or just a like. If you dislike it, let me know why. I mean, no problem. Um, anyways, thank you again, and until uh, the next video.